Hello? Okay, there has been some debate about the word Greek because, you know, I've been using the term Greek magic. And somebody actually had a really big cow about it. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to read this. Now, what I actually got is an opinion from my favorite author, Evangelos Rijakis. He wrote this book, Threskia. It's a really interesting book, Traditions of the Greek Mysteries. And you can see on here, well, maybe you can't see, but just take my word for it, or you can look it up on the net, I'm sure. But uh, he does say Greek Mysteries on here. Okay. So I was just wondering, well, since this person who had a cow about the word Greek, um... I asked him why he insisted insisted that um, some people from Greece had a problem with the word. And so I just kind of wanted to find out for myself because this person was saying, you know, maybe I should call it, call myself Hellenist, but then it's like, well, when you're talking about magic, how would that make sense? So this is what Evangelos Rajakis told me in chat. And yes, I know it's him because I actually call him too, or I have called him in the past. So real quick, I said, I have a question for you, very important. Okay, somebody is telling me not to use the word Greek because Greeks don't like it. What do you think? The person says I should formally call things of that nature Hellenistic, Hellenist, Republic of Hellenism, or whatever. The person also said that after I mentioned your book, though that the word Threskia simply meant Hellenist or, or something. Of course, the person is not Greek himself. What do you take on it? Okay. He said, wow. Okay, here's, here's the scoop on that. The word Greek in Greece was developed in the early 1800s when Greece became an independent united country. If I remember correctly, it was the Germans who first coined the word, which I also believe the Italians did too. Oh, and I said, oh, he said it was a slave name. Hmm? So I take it that classical Greek language developed and the word Greece and Greek came afterwards, but do the Greeks see English-speaking people badly when they use the word Greek? How do you, how do they refer to themselves? Do they call themselves Hellenists or whatever? And, um, and Evangelos Rajakis says, Greeks are a funny people, very arrogant when it comes to their history and such. Some of them, fanatics I would call them, do not like the word for, me for many reasons which they are all too eager to get into. They insist on being called Hellens in English. Greek is the English translation, translation of the word Hellens. The word Hellens is actually the English translation of the word. And I say, like, do you call yourself Greek for your heritage? I know you're from Canada, but you say you're Greek, bloodwise. Or would you use the term Hellenism? He says, um, Evangelist Rajakis says, No, I call myself Greek, but that is mainly due to being raised in a Canadian environment. Nitpicking is how I see it. And I say, So what would you say in relation to the ancients who did magic? How do pagans in Greece refer to themselves, I guess? And I talk about my video with about um, the Greek way by Edith Hamilton and how she mentions the word Greek. Okay. Evangelist Rajakis says, for example, I have a talk in Pennsylvania on Threskia and I had one of my friends from Greece along with me. After the talk, we had the, this great discussion as to why I said Thebes instead of Theva, T-H-I-V-A 
which again is the translation of the word. It all just comes down to translation. In English we say Greek. In Greek we say Helens. I go, ah. And then he says, Evangelist Rajakis, magic to the Greeks is still in the light of abracadabra, but are, and I assume that's because of the change of culture, but they are not doing magic when they are calling on the gods, invoking the god of choice. He goes on, so define magic to them, and then state that they are indeed practicing magic, and then stick your tongue out at them. Um, and then he goes on, in ancient times there was no country called Greece or Hellas. They never called themselves, um, they never called themselves Hellens or Greek, because each city-state was actually a country on its own. They all spoke the same language with slight variations and worshipped the same gods, but there was no such thing as a Greek from Athens. He was an Athenian or a Spartan, etc. And he also goes on to say, that is what I am presently writing in my new book about the variety in ancient Greek religions because every country had their own religion per se. And then he does give me permission to, you know, quote him. He goes, yes, you can use my book on any video you wish and quote this conversation, no problem. I ask him about his writing. He goes, yes, I am getting a lot of feedback on this book that I haven't even finished writing yet, a book that everyone says is greatly needed, a practical guide to Greek paganism. I am available, okay, and then I ask him if he can come here to Wyoming. So we're kind of in the works on that. And that's it. So I just wanted to kind of make a video and and have, you know, some comments from an actual writer who, um, I believe he, okay, it says, Evangelist Rajakis is a Greek-Canadian born in Ottawa, Canada, and schooled in fine arts and psychology, and I, I do believe he has, like, a bachelor's or PhD, I think. For the past 27 years, he has been studying and followed many different spiritual paths. Since 1987, he has lived in Greece, studying and researching the ancient Greek traditions. Working at ancient sites and with archaeologists led him to the disco discovery of the Lima in the ancient Greek traditions. And um, this book, Threskia, it's now out of print, but hopefully it's going to be reprinted soon. It was printed by Mandrake Press. They're in England. If you can't get a hold of a copy, I have a metaphysical store, and I have plenty of them. So, that's it.